It is a women's bantamweight showdown between Ronda Rousey and Ashley Evans Smith. Well, it sounds trite, but they say sometimes the best offense can be a good defense, and the cliche certainly applies here. She can stick and move with the best of them, and she's not afraid to hang in the pocket because she can do so without taking significant damage. She has frustrated some truly high-level opponents with her ability to stick and move and get her head off the center line. This girl is a real submission specialist. She will engage on the feet, but look for her openings to try to take this fight to the ground, where that is where she really shines. So February of 2013, UFC President Dana White finally took the plunge with women's MMA. Why? The answer right here in the flesh. Rowdy, Ronda, Rousey, protect your arms, ladies. Protect your arms, Rowdy, Ronda, Rousey. Trying to collect another arm here tonight as she works her way back into UFC Bantamweight title contention. Ronda Rousey was a bronze medalist in the Olympics in judo and has one of the best arm bars in the history of combat sports. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. Two years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A freestyle fighter holding a professional record of six wins, three losses. She stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Ashley Evans Smith! And now introducing her brother, fighting out of the red corner, a judo wrestler, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the former UFC Women's Back and Weight Champion of the World. Rowdy! Ronda! Rowdy! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavin. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Well, this is a venue as long on MMA history as any in the world, the Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan. Good to have you with us for a night of live UFC action. Well, you can hear from her fans as Ronda Rousey makes her return here tonight. Nine career wins by submission. Eight of her 12 pro wins have ended in round one via submission due to the arm bar. We'll see how Rousey approaches this one early. Oh, snaps off the jab effectively yet again. Really missed with that right hand. Evan Smith gets caught with that punch. They're going after it quick here. And they clinch again. Cannot get it. Great takedown defense right there. Very nicely done. Double underhooks. Just over three minutes now to go. Evan Smith's got double underhooks now. One underhook here. First takedown attempt is there. Oh, the right hand is there for Look at this reversal. 
back up. Nice kick there by Evan Smith. She'll continue to work off of what is a very crisp jab. Oh, connecting with a series of punches here, she has most definitely found her range. There's a nice knee to the body. Rousey gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. And she completes a single leg takedown. Now she's in full guard. Good scramble. Changes her stance. She's trying to find a home for that right hand. Under a minute now to go in the round. Well, she moved into the pocket somewhat carelessly there, Joe, and she paid the price as her opponent lands the hook to the body. She's vulnerable when she leans in. Her corner's trying to get her attention. Let's see if she can adjust. Consistently finding a home for that left punch. That one hurt. Wow, big overhand right miss. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Evan Smith. Second round, straight ahead. Let's take a look at some of the action from this round. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Brittany Palmer with us. Round two. All right, so round two is underway here. Both women had their moments in that first round. At times, it looked like they were feeling each other out. And there is a lot of mutual respect here, though. So maybe you thought the crowd got a little bit restless at times. Ultimately, these fighters are both elite. A lot of respect on both sides. We'll see if they get after it here to begin round two. And another stiff jab. Really good use of the jab by her here tonight. Oh, nice strike landed there by Rousey. Works the double underhooks here. See the total strikes. That's a nice clean shot. Evan Smith's lower jaw now, Joe, started to show some signs of swelling. Good punch. Excellent movement here on the ground. Oh, nice strike on the ground for him. Back to full guard. Big punch from the bottom. Back to half guard now. And into full mount. Going for an arm bar now. She's got that arm bar locked up. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Break the grip. That's and it. there it is. Beautiful technique setting it up and a beautiful job in getting that submission. Yeah, no doubt about it. That is some opportunistic grappling right there. And nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position, but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. Well, she couldn't have drawn it up any better than that as she gets the win by submission tonight. Big win and an even bigger statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has gone to stop for this contest. Now, two minutes, seven seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. All right, so another seminal moment in a career full of them for Ronda Rousey here tonight. She continues the celebration there with her corner, and why not enjoy it? Certainly returning to dominant form here tonight. 
And I think you can say now she's only getting better at this stage of her career. That is a scary proposition for the rest of this bantamweight division.